Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a very interesting exponential equation. We have 3 to the power x times 25 to the power 1 over x equals 45 and we're going to be solving for x values. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to be looking at a couple different solutions here or methods. Let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I want to log both sides so I can kind of bring all the powers down. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And the choice of base is totally up to you because 3 and 25 are kind of unrelated. I can use base 10, base E, like natural log, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and use log since 5 is part of 10. I'm going to go ahead and log both sides with base 10 and I'm not writing base 10. And then we have a product, the log of a product can be written as the log of sum, a log of a sum. So we can kind of write it like this. In other words, log AB can be written as log A plus log B. That's one of the properties. And log 45 at this point, I'm going to leave it like that for now. And later on, we can actually break it down if needed. Okay. Now let's go ahead and use another property of logs, which is known as the power property. So these are powers, we can go ahead and put them up in the front. In other words, we're going to bring them down. That gives us x log 3 plus 1 over x log 25 equals log 45. You probably try to guess at the very beginning, and you can do so, and let's go ahead and check your work against mine. Now, how do you solve something like this? We have x, we have 1 over x, that looks kind of like a rational equation, but Let's go ahead and turn into something we are more familiar with, hopefully, which is quadratic equation. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by x. That's actually going to turn this into quadratic. x squared log 3, x cancels out with 1 over x plus log 25 equals x log 45. Awesome. Why is this quadratic? Because it's quadratic in x squared. Everything else is a constant. Notice that? So we have an x squared, we have an x, and we have a constant term. Let's go ahead and put this together. So we're going to have log 3 times x squared, and then minus log 45 times x, and then finally plus log 25 as our constant, and that's going to equal 0. Now notice that if I put the x squared here and I put the x here, hopefully that's going to be a little more clear that... This is quadratic in x, right? Okay, awesome. So how do we solve quadratic equations? There's a formula, right? Obviously. So let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula says x equals negative b, which is log 45, plus minus the square root of b squared, which is log 45 squared, minus 4ac, which is 4 log 3, times log 25. So we kind of have like a product of logs and that's divided by 2 log 3. At this point, this looks pretty complicated. Let's go ahead and focus on what's inside the radical, which we call the discriminant. So in other words, the delta of for this quadratic, we're going to write it as log 45 squared minus 4 times log 3 times log 25. So one of the ways we can simplify this is probably break everything down. For, for example, 45 is 9 times 5, and then we can kind of write this as log 9 plus log 5, and then 9 is 3 squared, so we can kind of write it as 2 log 3 plus log 5. Make sense? So I'm going to go ahead and take that and square it, and from that I want to subtract 4 times log 3 times log 25, which can be written as log 5 squared, and that is 2 log 5. So that's actually going to give us 8 here, and then times log 5 here. Make sense? Okay. So I, I basically simplified everything, and this should give us something nicer. Take a look. We got 2 log 3 squared plus log 5 squared from a plus b quantity squared plus a 2ab for log 3 log 5, and then from it I'm going to subtract 8 log 3 log 5. Does that look familiar? Take a look. These are like terms. They like each other. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and subtract it. 2 log 3 squared plus log 5 squared 
minus 4 log 3 log 5. Now notice that this is the discriminant, right? Or delta, obviously. Now notice that this plus sign turned into a minus sign here. And this is the square of something. Take a look. You can kind of copy the same pattern. This is basically 2 log 3 minus log 5 quantity squared. And that's actually perfect because under the radical, under the square root, it's just going to disappear, right? So x is going to be the following then. x equals log 45 plus minus this square rooted. So if you square root delta, right, you're going to get 2 log 3 minus log 5, which I'm going to substitute here because remember, negative b plus minus the square root of delta, which is b squared minus 4ac. It's going to come in parentheses because there's going to be a plus and minus signs. And now we can go ahead and separate them. Let's go ahead and write each one separately. At the same time, breaking down log 45. Again, log 45 is log 9 times 5 and 9 is 3 squared. So we can kind of break it down into 2 log 3 plus log 5. Make sense? <laughs> That's perfect. So it's going to look like this. 2 log 3 plus log 5 plus 2 log 3 minus log 5. So I'm taking the positive sign first, divided by 2. I think there was another term at the bottom. 2 times log 3, yes. I, I was just missing that term. 2 log 3. And if you simplify this, log 5 is going to cancel out. x equals 4 log 3 divided by 2 log 3. The, the log 3s are going to cancel out. So in other words, it's going to be like 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Awesome. One of the solutions is 2, and you could have verified that, obviously. The other solution is going to be coming from where? 2 log 3 plus log 5 minus 2 log 3 plus log 5. You just negate the sign and that divided by 2 log 3. In this case, 2, 2 log 3 cancels out. We get 2 log 5 divided by 2 log 3. And if the 2s cancel out, we end up with what? We end up with x equals log 5 divided by log 3. That's just going to be the other solution. And guess how many solutions are there? Only two, because this is a quadratic equation. Make sense? Great. We're going to look at the graph as well at the end, but let's go ahead and go through the second solution real quick. So I had this equation, and you're probably thinking what I'm thinking. Break down the 45 at the very beginning, right? What is 45? 9 times 5, or 3 squared times 5. Now at this point, you might be saying, okay, what if x is equal to 2? Then 1 over x is going to be 1 half. And yes, because 25 to the power 1 half is the square root of 25, which is 5. So x equals 2 works. But how do you find the other solution? That's the trickiest part. Let me show you real quick. You kind of put the powers of 3 together, 3 to the power x minus 2, and write this as 5 to the power 2 over x, because 25 is 5 squared. That's going to give you 5 to the power 1 minus 2 over x. And at this point, something amazing happens. We call this mathematic or hocus pocus. <laughs> Take a look at the x minus 2. Obviously, we can kind of write this as 5 to the power 1 over x to the power x minus 2. And at this point, obviously, x equals 2 is a solution because 3 to the power 0 equals 5 to the power 0. You know what I'm talking about? Great. Check, check. But what if I get rid of these, then I get the other solution. Because if you log both sides, or if you raise both sides to the power x, you're going to get the other solution, which is log 5 over log 3. Did I get that right? I think so. Okay. And this brings us... This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.